thank you, Mr. Virtue Signaling White Person, and lecturing a person of color about racism. Let me explain something to you. My family, my mom, my little sister, when my little sister was around three, four years old, was physically assaulted by a racist police officer that we lived next to, right? Shot my little sister in the face with a high-powered uh, gardening hose. Whoa. In the face. Yeah. Would threaten my mom, call her a, a Mexican pig every single day when my mom would be gardening in the front because we lived in, a, in, a, in an all-white neighborhood, a very high-end neighborhood. We were the only Hispanics on the street, right? Um, that happened to my little sister. That happened to my mom. This guy would threaten to kill my dog all the time because we were Mexican. We were Hispanics. You know, I've experienced racism. I've seen it. I've dealt with it. I've, I, I've, I've had someone look down upon me because of the color of my skin. See, but here's where I separate from BLM and all these SJWs. I don't believe we're living in the 1950s. Right. I don't believe that I'll ever allow myself to become a victim of a racist person that looks down upon me, right? Even though they've done something to my family, I'm not going to live my life allowing someone to have such power over me. I'm not going to be playing this victim every single day of my life. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened to my mom. I can't believe this happened to me. Give me money. Give me money. I'm a victim. Put put murals on the wall. Put my name on the floor. And by the way, I think it's a pretty uh, disrespectful thing that, you know, the left gives uh, Black Lives Matter murals um, on streets. Yeah, where cars drive over where them cars and people drive, anyways, garbage. But let me finish. My Sour point milk. is... This is where I defer. I'll never allow myself to become a victim. I'll never allow myself to be powered or literally submitted under another man because of his racism. I myself, as a Hispanic, as a Mexican, as a Spaniard individual, I myself, when it does come to racism, I have to outperform everyone around me. It's kind of like Selena. Did you guys ever see the movie Selena? Right? Oh man, a long time. Okay, ago. you remember what her dad would say? No. <laughs> you know, because they would go and perform in America, they'd perform in Mexico, and the dad would say, You have to be more Mexican than the Mexicans, and you have to be more, you know, American than the Americans. It's hard being a Hispanic. <laughs> it's hard being, and it's true, right? Yeah. Because you have to outperform. You have to be as great, the best, great version of yourself. And that's more powerful than playing a victim on the streets of America, playing the race card every single day, expecting things, expecting money, expecting people to owe you things. No, be the greatest version of yourself so that every single racist in the world has nothing, has nothing on you. Nothing. That's my philosophy. That's how I live my life. And my mom taught me that. There you go, man.